Hi everyone, so it's been a long time since my last video, so I've been really busy lately. So now I'm back with my uh, new video, so we have here my package has just arrived like after 3 months of waiting. I ordered last October, uh, understandable because of the pandemic, so formerly, formerly named SSS motor, now it's the MSQ motor, so look at it. So it's a 2200kV 4082 size motor. Uh, capable of 6s 25 volts what are the differences of I've, I've chosen the higher kv motor so that i can run on 6s and the batteries will be lighter the sss motor like is 8 is capable at 1600 but 8 is battery is a bit heavier i am aiming to get around 124 mile an hour or like 200 kilometers an hour with this one So here it is now. So the the MSQ motor here, four fans. So the MSQ motor is around like eighty to ninety dollars. Max six CSC a hundred dollars. Uh, Repo killer capacitor pack fifty and batteries. It's like fifty for this and twenty five for this. The servo is twenty dollars. Controller receiver thirty dollars. And the car itself is four hundred. Just more less likely around seven hundred to eight hundred. For the setup, I'm running the stock twenty-seven thirty-four gearing. And then I need to take off the front cutters better aero and this one as well for less resistance make it more flat and then suspension tuning in the front make it as low as possible and um, tighten all the four shocks I mean four springs by dialing this ring all the way down same with this it all the way down to stiffen the shocks so I adjusted the front ride height so I punched a hole here to adjust the jute screw and in the back make it sit higher as high as possible so the front end is lower the back end is higher and that's it for the setup so it's just a weird way of mounting my GoPro camera so I just put a tether on it to make sure I'm not gonna lose this and then this is my GPS camera so this measures the speed but the bad thing is it disrupts the arrow so the air the air flow of here then it's gonna be a bit, a bit blocked by this I uh, won't reach the rear wing part so it's just some sort of it affects the arrow but not that much I'm going to run on 6s maximum um, ideal motor rpm is like nearly 50,000 50k so I have a 4s battery pack here and a 2s on the other side and I'm just gonna connect them to series connection so this 6s is better than 8s because I'm going to save more weight so on a on 8s I put another one here but I take it off to make it 6s this battery itself weighs 320 grams and that's a lot for an RC car it's a really really heavy load so I'm taking this off so there will be only 6s and it's 320 grams lighter so hope this goes well and they'll be able to hit 124 miles an hour or 200 kilometers an hour and by the way I've used this some sort of screen there's a metal flexible screen I've really improved the cooling on this one for the intake and the exhaust here I also 
use the screen on this ESC as a guard, as a screen guard, something to protect these fans from stones and uh, and all that can damage it. So the cooling really helped me achieve my like latest personal best, which is 112 miles an hour or 180 kilometers an hour. So it cooled the motor much faster. This motor has holes on it. The holes also help cooling the motor. So this motor is not for bashing because the dust and the water can go inside the motor and can, can kill the motor. So this motor is only for speed running and only for boats, uh, boat RCs that have uh, internal cooling. This is it after the run. So this project, um, I closed this project and it's a total failure. Sadly, so I was expecting this motor to be stronger. Um, I mean to be faster than the previous one, but it turned out be like giving me less power, and I cannot figure out the reason behind it. So I have the correct set up the ESC adjusted endpoints, the, uh, the cap pack, fully charged batteries. These are nice quality batteries, CNHL. Um, after that run, only a few passes. It's down to 83%, or let's say 4.05 volts per cell. So this motor was really maxing out, and I cannot figure out why I still cannot get good um, good speeds uh, I mean good speeds out of it I have everything set up as how I set up my previous 112 mile per hour run so it's the max 6 that cannot handle much amp draw I think so no matter how good the motor if the ESC cannot and I do so then there's no point so I guess uh, it's the ESC that has to be upgraded. So there's no point doing it, uh, doing a low budget 200 km per hour uh, armor limitless. So I haven't really seen a Max 6 ESC heating 200 km an hour. Oh, it's 124 miles an hour. So hopefully someone does what I failed to do um, because um, I think I need to stop here. I am not quitting but I am just going to have my break from from this hobby as I've really spent a lot already on this. There will be no more time for this I am afraid. <coughs> it's making me sad really. Also I won't be uploading more uh, videos more often but I will still be active uh, when it comes to replying to comments if you have any questions. Uh, my, my previous videos or this video just feel free to chat or let's say feel free to comment so I guess that's it I have to stop here now because I would be spending much more on it and I have more priorities in life now I have a family and I have a newborn baby to take care of so well I hope I was able to help with a bit of my setup, my tips, uh, and my budget tips, and whatever. So that's it for all. Thank you so much. Um, I really appreciate you watching, commenting. Uh, even a small uh, span of time that I've been doing, um, I've been vlogging RC, not really vlogging, but I've been uploading videos about RCs. So thanks so much.